Well, hello everybody. Welcome to World of Science. I'm so sorry that we had to miss Monday. Of course, we had severe weather again on Sunday. We were at the station late and uh, we just couldn't turn around and do World of Science in the morning. So I'm so happy to be back with you guys and on such a fun day, which is Earth Day. My shirt, you probably can't read it from here, but it says make every day Earth Day, important day. And uh, it just, you know, Find some way to celebrate our Earth Day because it gives us so much and of course we want to give back in return. And we're going to be talking about something today that is Earth related and that's geodes. Do you know what a geode is? A geode is a fancy, fancy rock. So it looks like a normal rock on the outside, but on the inside it's full of these beautiful, beautiful crystals. And I'm going to show you a picture of it if you're able to see this. So that's, ooh, that's really bright. Mm. That's what a geode looks like, if you can see it. Um, amethyst, opal, um, a lot of the birthstones are geodes. I'm partial to amethyst, that's my birthstone, February. It's beautiful, it's purple. So today we're gonna talk about how to make our own geodes at home. Now I've made a few of these, they've only been sitting for less than 24 hours. If they had been sitting for more than 24 hours, they would be even bigger, but this is just the beginning and that's what makes this experiment so, so cool. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some water, uh, borax, that's the main ingredient in this. And you can find that in the grocery store, in the laundry detergent. I think this whole entire box, which is a huge box of borax, uh, was only about $4. Uh, some glue, you'll need a jar um, or a plastic cup of some kind, something that you can put this in. And then I'll show you the different ways I, I made geodes. Um, I did one, holding onto a string here, uh, dipped into a glass, and then I made some made out of eggshells. So again, I've only had these sitting for less than 24 hours, but this is what the beginning of my eggshell geodes look like. They're beautiful and they're sparkly, and again, they've only been sitting for 20, uh, less than 24 hours, but if they had been sitting for two days, three days, this would be absolutely covered in crystals, but it's already starting to catch the light. It's already a little bit sparkly, very cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with plastic eggshells because I don't have any more eggs and you can't find any eggs anywhere. So hopefully if you have eggs at home, you can do this with normal eggshells. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't work as well with plastic eggshells. In fact, I tried it with plastic eggshells and it just really, it didn't stick as well. So you're gonna to wanna to try to do this with normal eggshells. So what you're gonna do is first, you need to make a super saturated solution. And super saturated has a lot of different meanings in science. Of course, we talk about super saturation a lot in weather and meteorology, but this is more of a chemistry thing. We're talking about super saturation and making a super saturated liquid. So I have water here. This was boiling. Um, it's cooled down a little bit. When you do this, you want to work with the water as hot as possible. So you'll need a parent to help out. You'll, parents, you'll have to handle the hot water because you're gonna to wanna to make this solution when the water is boiling, as hot as possible. So I've got three cups of water in here, and for every cup of water, you're gonna need three tablespoons of borax. So, fun math problem, figure it out real quick. That means if I've got three cups of water in here, I'm gonna need nine tablespoons of borax. And what is happening is this water is hot, so the molecules are farther apart. So it allows the borax to dissolve in here. That was three, I can't lose count. It allows the borax to dissolve and uh, become saturated within the water. Six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna mix this up, stir, oop, oop don't mix it too much because the hot water is gonna go over the side. Uh, so what you're creating is this borax is, is dissolving in the water. Because the molecules are farther apart, it's allowing some of this to become part of our solution. However, there comes a point that it cannot absorb any more borax, and that's when it becomes super saturated, and you're gonna be left, and I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, you're gonna be left with a little bit of borax on the bottom. You can kinda see that when I stir it, how there's some on the bottom. And that is, how you know that this has become super saturated. It just cannot absorb any more of the borax. So, again, working as fast as possible, so this is a hot solution, you're gonna pour this into your cup, into your jar. And 
add your food coloring of choice. Uh, personally, I think the darker food coloring creates the prettier crystals. So blue or purple are the ones that I've, I've really had the most luck with. In fact, purple has probably worked the best out of all of them. And you're going to be very, very generous with how much you add to this. And stir it all up. If you don't see any borax on the bottom of your solution, you can always add a little bit more. It doesn't hurt. In fact, it probably helps to create some of these crystals. And again, real eggshell works better, but plastic eggshell, you're going to paint the inside of it with glue, just regular, regular glue. And you're going to make sure that it is facing up, get a little bit of water in it, and drop it in there and it'll sink to the bottom especially the real the real eggshells will sink immediately the, the plastic ones take a little bit of time so you're going to leave that in an area where it's completely undisturbed and that way no one will bump it don't take it out don't swish it around and what's going to start to happen is you'll notice this is one of the ones that i did earlier it starts to crystallize you'll see some crystallization starting on the sides you'll see it on the bottom of the glass and that is as the solution cools, some of that borax is that's in your water, super saturated solution is forming on your, um, it's forming on, oh, it's hot. It's forming on your little object in here. So it's crystallizing. And as it cools, those molecules are coming close together. Again, we talked about they're spread far apart so that way they can um, allow some of the borax to dissolve. As they cool, they're getting closer together and some of that borax is becoming a solid again. And that's, that's what you're seeing. Now, another way that you can do this is uh, with a pencil or a pen um, with uh, some type of condensation nuclei, or that's what we're going to call it. I'm a meteorologist, so we're going to call it a nuclei. Um, pipe cleaners work the best. I didn't have any pipe cleaners, so I had to come up with some kind of nuclei. These are just Christmas tree hooks, Christmas ornaments. Um, I had some left over in my drawer still from Christmas. You can see those. Um, I, they already come tangled, so <laughs> that's the worst part of having to put them up, right, is untangle them. So uh, I just tied this to a piece of ribbon, tied it around a pen. And this is, again, this is the one that I left overnight. If you leave it for two, three, four, five days a week, it's gonna be so much bigger. But this is my geode. Oop, now I'm making a mess. Um, that has formed, and again, this is less than 24 hours. So if you leave this, it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the cool thing about using pipe cleaners as opposed to Christmas tree hooks or some other kind of uh, nuclei for these crystals to form on is that you can make shapes. You can make a snowflake, you can make a heart. Any shape that you bend that pipe cleaner into, it's going to create crystals in that shape. So as the borax um, bonds to those nucleation sites, those Christmas tree hooks, the eggshells, that's what's happening. That's how you create your crystals. So this is so cool. You can. You can uh, do different colors, you can do different shapes with the pipe cleaners. Personally, I think this way is my favorite and I've had the most success with making geodes this way, but the eggshells, again, are also really cool. Where did my eggshell go? So this is, the, I tried a couple different eggshells because I made cookies yesterday, so I had a, um, a couple of empty eggshells and these would be absolutely covered in crystals and I'm gonna put them back in their solutions. Maybe we'll check back on them on, on Monday and see how they're doing. But if you leave these for longer, they create more and more beautiful, beautiful crystals. And this is very similar to the way that actual real geodes form naturally, is you have holes in rocks and mineralized water. So like our borax, mineralized water seeps in and it forms these beautiful, beautiful crystals. So that's our, that's our earthy experiment. This one requires a little bit of patience, but it's a, it's a really cool reward. And it's really cool to check back in this along the process as it happens. And you can see the different types of crystallization on the glass, on your nuclei, on your eggshells. So there you go, that's how you make a geode. And it, this, can, uh, this can create some pretty, actually I know a lot of adults that do this. 
um, just to make cool little geodes around their house. This is not just for kids. Um, so that is our world of science for today. If you join us on Monday, we are going to learn how to inflate a balloon using a chemical reaction. So we're not going to blow up the balloon, but the balloon's still going to blow up and that's going to involve using chemistry again. So that's going to be a really fun one and a really easy one that you can do at home. Um, Tim, my producer and my ear, Tim, do we have any questions, comments, concerns, um, Earth Day concerns? <laughs> Oh, he's saying a lot of people saying they're going to try it at home. If you try it at home, if your kids try it at home, and you guys do a little science experiment for yourself, send me pictures. I would love to see it. I would love to share them on social media because we're all in this together. We're all at home. We're all uh, trying to come up with things to do. And this one is a fun one that takes a couple of days. So it takes a lot of time. All right. Oh, side note. We actually we have severe weather tomorrow. So make sure you're staying weather aware. Thursday, we could have a few strong storms. I know we're sick of severe weather, but it could happen. Just a side note. So we're going to be keeping you updated with the forecast. CBS 46. Um, until then, today's beautiful. So get outside and enjoy it after you make your crystals, after you do your science experiment. Um, I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and thanks for watching World of Science.